corneal foreign bodies can be very painful, and this is a diagnosis you don't want to miss, and certainly if you have something stuck in your eye, it needs to be removed right away. So what am I talking about? The cornea is basically the surface of the eye, specifically right over the colored part of the eye. The colored part of the eye is covered by a thin, um, clear like window, and that window is the cornea. So if you were to touch the surface of your eye, you're touching the cornea. If you put a contact lens on your eye, you're putting it on top of the cornea. Now, certain objects like to stick to the cornea for some reason. So I see a lot of patients who uh, are grinding metal or they're welding and they have a sensation that there's something in the eye. It does not get better and they come in and I see that they have a small piece of metal stuck to the surface of the cornea. Something about metal just really wants to stick to this cornea. I, most of the time, I think uh, little pieces of metal get stuck in the hair and then later on they take their safety glasses off and it falls into the eye. And it gets embedded into the cornea, causes a lot of pain, and can be a big problem, especially if it starts to rust or gets infected. So corneal form body, not a good thing. Uh, certainly grinding metal is the one we're most worried about because you don't want uh, uh, pieces of metal flying at high speed into the eye. Welding, I see a little bit less often. Sometimes with woodworking, you get a piece of uh, sawdust occasionally in the eye. It gives the same thing. So what I wanted to do is show you a video of what a, corn, what a uh, foreign body looks like on the cornea. This is a piece of metal that fell out of the hair, got stuck in the eye, and is beginning to rust. You can see a little bit of a rust ring around it. Now, you got to get these things out. And if you go to the emergency room, they'll try to get out with a Q-tip, numb the eye up. But if that doesn't work, you really got to peel these things out. This is using an 18-gauge needle. Sometimes I use a little... Um, loop of wire to do the same thing. And this looks painful. It really isn't. The eye is all numbed up. You can't see this coming at you, but you got to get that piece of metal out. And you can see there's some residual rust ring here. You can't leave that rust in. If you leave rust, it'll, uh, it never quite heals right, put you at risk for uh, getting an infection. So what I like to use is a little miniature tool. It's kind of like a little Dremel. It spins around at high speed to get that rust out of there. If you don't get that out, it's never going to heal. And the last thing you want is a non-healing wound on the surface of the eye. So basically I'm just removing that rust using my little Dremel tool and there's still a little bit left over and that's fine but as long as you get most of it out it allows the eye to heal keeps you from having problems. So if you get something in your eye especially if you're doing uh, grinding or anything where there's pieces of metal or things flying around at high speed um, it's important to see the eye doctor for a couple reasons. One is you don't want that rust in there because you'll never heal right or it's going to cause an infection, and you need to have aggressive antibiotics if you get an infection in your cornea. Um, probably the one thing we're most worried about are penetrating injuries. You can be grinding, and very small pieces of metal can shoot at high speed and not even leave much of a wound on the outside of the eye, but if you get metal inside the eye, that metal will rust, kills the retina. So if you have any concern about things like that, you really need to see an eye doctor you trust for a dilated exam and make sure there's nothing in the eye. For more informative videos like this, visit us at tomokaeye.com, or if you would like to make an appointment to see one of our doctors, please call 386-672-4244.